Hi and welcome to Restored Media channel. Today learn how to recover a Go profile after it has previously been deleted and then restored with some software. So you have accidentally deleted a valuable file. Afterwards, you quickly googled some available undelete tool and restored your file. It has same format, even same file size, but unfortunately cannot be played in any video player. It is damaged. The best thing you can do in this situation is to go to Restore.media website and recover your Go profile with our automatic online service. Register or log in if you have already and start the recovery. I'm already registered, so just log in. And let's get started. First, you have to tell us about your camera. Mine is GoPro 4 and write some description. Describe your camera profile in a way that is meaningful for you, so that you can distinguish it afterwards in case you will be having several cameras to recover from. I'll call mine GoPro 4 Adventures and go to the next step. Here you should upload a reference file. Reference file is a good playable file that has been recorded from the same camera with the same settings. It's very important. Same camera, same settings. Luckily, I have one, even two to choose from, and I upload it into the server. Now, the uploading may take a while. It depends on your location, on server uh, load, on uh, your file size. By the way, you don't have to uh, upload a big reference file. It won't affect the uh, recovery results. So some simple 100 megabytes file would be enough. Now we have see if you see a following screen, it means you have done everything correctly and you can go to the next step. Now let's create a recovery task. So feel free to name the task whatever you find convenient for you, whatever makes sense. For example, I know that I'd like to recover um, flight or the city. And you can choose whether you'd like to recover video and audio, audio only or video only. I'd like to recover both. So on this tab, so please pay attention. You can put a check mark that this file has been restored from the media after it has been deleted. So this is where we should put the check mark on. And the system will take a specific algorithm to recover your damaged file, that file that has been damaged with another software. But let's see. Um, what we will get in case we don't put this mark on and go to the next step. So remember this moment, we don't put a check mark, we don't let the system know that the file has been recovered with some other software. We just forgot to do that and went to the next step. Here we would like to upload the corrupted file, the file we would like to recover. Here it is my undelete and playable mp4 file and it is uploading now on the server then again the uploading may take a while just keep calm and it will be uploaded uh, if you have started the uploading and the process somehow got stuck or has been interrupted for example if you experienced some network connection problems don't worry just refresh the page um, and then choose the same file again it will continue from the point of interruption so you won't have to like re-upload it all over again from the very beginning now the system has received everything it needs to recover your damaged file the reference file, the corrupted file, and it's already recovering our file. 
is generating preview of what has been restored. We will see it on the next step. Sometimes the process might take a while. Keep calm. On this step, you may close your browser and check uh, the result later. Don't worry, you will be notified on the email that you have left uh, while the registration. So, what do we have here? Oh my, so we received obviously damaged screenshots taken in the beginning, in the middle and in the end of the video. So something is definitely wrong. We can't even get the required screenshots. And a full-time preview and rollover resolution with artifacts. So yes, so you, if you can't see it properly since the preview is too small, I'll show you. Here it is. I've previously recovered this file and here how it looks like in a video player. See, it's terrible. So why is this happening? Why the recovered GoPro file is so corrupted? The thing is, some cameras such as GoPro 4 and some others write simultaneously two streams in high resolution and in low resolution for preview. Both streams are recorded at the same time, thus leading to a significant file system fragmentation in the media. If MP4 file was removed and then restored with some undelete tool, most likely it will contain chunks from that low resolution stream. And the high resolution parts will be followed by low resolution chunks, like every 30 seconds, followed by low resolution uh, chunks and causing those artifacts. Auto in this case would be most likely duplicated. And the root of the problem lies in inaccurate recovery of um, undelete um, software. So you have received um, such a file with artifacts and suddenly remembered about that check mark in the beginning that we haven't put on. Don't worry, you don't have to restart the entire recovery process uh, with re-uploading files and so on and so forth. Simply try to recover your file with other settings. Reprocess your file again using this check mark. Let the system know that this file has been previously deleted and then restored with another software. And reprocess it again. That's it, you don't have to re-upload everything again. Now the system got everything it needs and it re-recovers your file using the correct algorithm. This way you'll turn on the algorithm of filtration of those low resolution chunks and it will only leave high resolution parts. Simple as that. Now we have a perfectly recovered file. We can see screenshots taken in the beginning, in the middle and in the end of the video. And here, here they are. And we can see a perfectly uh, recovered file in the low resolution, but we can see that here are no artifacts here. We can check, so the full-time preview, we see that we received uh, screenshots that seem to have no problem here. And they definitely differ from the ones we have received before. So everything seems to be good and we can now download the complete recovered file. So everything seems good. Thank you. Uh, so now we can download the recovered file in original resolution, bookmark restore.media website, and of course, leave a feedback. Either on the website or on social media, it'll make our day. Um, that's it. That is how the recovery process for GoPro damaged files look like. 
If you find yourself in a similar situation, you know what to do. Go to Restore.media website and start the recovery. Thank you for watching. Feel free to share and like the video. Uh, subscribe to our channel and let us know if we can help. Thanks again and happy recovering.